Okay, in this question, we're given RT as the uh, vector uh, T times square root of T plus 3, comma, T squared plus 4, comma, E raised to T minus 1 divided by T. We want to find the domain of RT, and we also want to compute the limit of T as T approaches 0. So the, let's do the domain first. So we have T times square root of t plus 3. This is one thing we have. We also have t squared plus 4. And we also have e raised to t minus 1 divided by t. OK, so for this term just by itself, we know it cannot, it would have to be t uh, greater than or equal to negative 3. If it's less than negative 3, let's say negative 10, we would have a negative in the uh, square root, and we can't have a negative square root. So that's one limiting factor. t squared plus 4 is all real. Any number for t would work. And then et minus 1 divided by t, t cannot equal 0. So simply t does not equal 0. If we have 0, it wouldn't work. So with, with all that said, we can say that the domain would be so we know it has to be uh, greater than or equal to negative 3. Since it's greater than or equal to, we use a closed bracket, negative 3. It cannot equal 0. So we say comma 0, parentheses. This would essentially say it can be any number very close to 0, but it just can't be 0. U, we would have 0, comma, infinity. All the other terms would work. So it'd be uh, negative 3, we have a uh, closed bracket, comma, 0 parentheses, u parentheses, 0 comma infinity. And this would be our final answer for the domain. Now we want to compute the limit as t approaches uh, 0. So let's write b. So for the most part, most of it is actually known. If we put a 0 here, we have 0 times something. So we know that's going to be 0, comma. We put a 0 here, we get 0 plus 4, so 4. Now the only trick is on the third term. If we put 0, we get uh, zero, e raised to 0, which is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 divided by 0. Um, we don't know what 0 divided by 0 is, so we have to use Locatal's rule. So we'll say limit t approaches uh, 0, we have et minus 1 divided by t. And we would say locatals. So we can say equal locatal. We would write limit t approaches 0. So we take the derivative of this, and we take the derivative of this separately. So the derivative of e raised to t minus 1 would be e raised to t. The derivative of t would be 1. So now we enter 0. If we enter 0 now, we get e raised to 0. So that would be 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So we would have 1 for this. And this is our final answer. So this was part A, and this was part B. And that's all we need to do.